moved to New York with just a pair of high heels and a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Now she sashayed her way up the music charts with her debut album, RuPaul's Supermodel of the World, which has already produced two number one hits and an MTV Music Award nomination for the best dance video. Please welcome Supermodel of the World. Who am I to argue? RuPaul! <laughs> So sweet. I'm, I feel very country today, you know. You're just like, you're like, like, you're like Heidi on drugs. <laughs> yeah, I thought this is like a little country kitchen. Your country breakfast is ready, Joan. Are you hungry? You look like somebody took Dolly Parton and changed her color and stretched her. I, I love mean, that. Yeah. I love, you know, Dolly is one of my idols, yes, you know. Yes. And talk about a drag queen, right? <laughs> you like my hair? <laughs> Nobody ever said to you, less is more. No, no. more is more. More, more is, is definitely more. Great. Now that you're doing so well, are people just sending you stuff? You know what I mean? And people send me things. A lot, I get a lot of letters from young kids, you know, who say, my parents don't understand me. What should I do? And I tell them, I say, first, you know, learn something you can do to bring to the party that's interesting. Right. You know, <laughs> figure out what it is that you have that's better than anyone else. And I knew that I could sashay Shante, honey. <laughs> Later, but growing up, did they get you in your neighborhood? I mean, at what age did you decide to say, I am me? Right. I've always felt that way. I remember being five years old and thinking that I was definitely a Revlon spokesmodel. Right. You know, <laughs> I really did. I thought I was. I still do to this yeah. day. And, and you should be. <laughs> I know I should be. Should Wouldn't be. that be fabulous? Yeah. Well, we should think of it. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. You know, absolutely. You know, so some of the. Some of the most unforgettable women in the world are men. I, <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Let me ask you, what becomes a legend most? Well, a little paint and powder. That's what becomes a legend most. <laughs> now, some diamonds, some hair. Now, do you have men sending you things? Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of underwear. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. all right. Yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, propositions. People want to marry me and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I don't take all that seriously because I have a, a mission on this planet. I went to school the children. Oh. I went to teach the children how to sing. I, you know, life is a song worth singing. And yeah. I am singing. <laughs> I'm singing. Yes. Now, what has happened? Last time you came on, you were just starting to break yeah. crazy. What's gone on since then? Well, I've been all over the world, first of all. And all over the world. And uh, there's a little bit more money in my bank account now, great, which is great, great. great. But it's great going out and meeting people because I get a good uh, cross-section of what people like. And what's really changing is that people want more customized entertainment. You know, like there's uh, interactive television where you buy stuff off TV and stuff. I think people want more customized entertainment. They're not uh, going to settle for the same thing anymore. So they want something with a little more flair, more right. style. And that's that's the main consensus I've taken from out Now, there. Now, when you go through an airport, how do you go through an airport? Do you dress like this, but, you know, maybe with a, <laughs> but, but with a, with a, with a simple jacket or right. yeah. <laughs> like a wraparound skirt yeah. or something. You go as a man or as a woman? I go as a man, but what I, I call it my dyke drag. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. You know, I wear, I wear a pair of like chinos with a, a t-shirt and some like uh, dock siders or something. No one ever, ever recognizes me. And it's fabulous because I've actually eavesdropped on people talking about me. And usually what they're saying is, um, oh my God, look at those legs. Or they're saying things like, oh, she has 200 teeth in her mouth, you yeah, know, yeah, stuff right, like that. Right, right, right. But, you know, I've never been up against any of the, of any evil, like even as a kid, nothing ever, because I think I have an aura of goodness maybe around me and yeah. people respond to that. Right. And they know that I'm not threatening and, and it's, it's okay. You know, even as a five year old in your neighborhood, where, where was your neighborhood? I, I was born and raised in San Diego, but I moved to Atlanta when I was like uh, a teenager. I was like 14. Okay. Now 14. 
you, you, were you this tall? I was this tall at 14, yes. Oh God. I was. Who fed you? <laughs> I mean, just, can you imagine being a teenager? It was very awkward because yes. I knew that something was happening with me, but I was too young to understand it. Yeah. But it took me going to Atlanta to really uh, come out, so to speak, uh, where I was actually around other kids who were exciting and who had wild ideas, right, you know. Right, right. And then what? How'd you get this singing? Well, um, I was, I'm, my, everyone in my family, my sister's here, we're going to, she, she's, a, everybody in my family is a born ham. We're all like a bunch of cut ups. So, you know, we would, I would do in the living room for my mom, like uh, Cher or Tina Turner or Charo or right. that kind of thing. Right. You know, I do a mean Cher. I do a mean Cher. If I could turn back town, <laughs> if I could find a whale, oh, that's my Cher. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right, tell me, you went to, there's so much I want to ask you, we'll get to everything, so we have a whole hour with you there. Cannes Film Festival, you went over there, why? Yes. I went over there for as, as Liz's guest, for an empire. Liz? Liz Taylor. Liz, oh, excuse Liz. me. Liz Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> me and Liz are like this. Okay. We're like, <laughs> no, I went over there for an AIDS benefit, it was uh, uh, Cinema Against AIDS, and it was to educate people in third world countries right. about AIDS. And Liz was there, Sylvester Stallone was there, Michael Douglas was there, Gina Davis and Rennie Harlan, you know they're dating. You no, know. I know now. Yeah, well yeah. they're dating. Did you know that Rennie Harlan used to go out with Lord Dern? And now Lord Dern is going out with Jeff Goldblum who is Gina Davis's ex-husband. So it's like they flip flop. It's great. Isn't that hot? Oh, I like that, I like that. <laughs> go on. But um, Michael, da Michael Douglas was there, uh, John Lithgow was there. Um, it was just star studded. Right. And uh, Liz was just, she was very sweet. You know, when I met her, I went over and, and shook my, her hand and she had the Krupp diamond on. I tried to ease it off her finger, yeah. but she wasn't having it. <laughs> she was not having it. No, but she was, she was really cute. She had her little dog with her and everything, you yeah, know. Larry. Yeah, is that his name, Larry? <laughs> now, as the camera's great, now you've had a, 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 a you had the MTV Award nomination. What, if you, when will you know if you win? When will you know? Uh, I think when sometime it, in September. Have you got a speech? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to say, you like me. You really like me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to say, I have one thing to say. You better work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go to commercial, and I'll be right back. We'll be right back with RuPaul, and uh, oh, I'm having some makeup tips when we come back. I would love that. Makeup tips and, fa well, not fashion advice, <laughs> don't get hurt. <laughs> makeup tips and a song. <laughs> <laughs> And what a shade. <laughs> well, like the, downtown here in New York, there's a lingo of the kids. They all use it. Yeah. There's a thing. And uh, throwing shade, it's not much different from the shade we all know. It's like, you know, when someone's shady, when they're like <sighs> giving you attitude and right. all this. Right, right, oh, right. Honey, oh, 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 oh. It's all that, you <laughs> okay, know. Okay. So the kids, they call it being shady and that kind of thing. Right. It's all in the movie Paris is Burning. Did you see that film? Yes, of course I saw that film. It's gorgeous. Yes. Isn't it yes. great? And it's got, um, you know, all that lingo in there. And I've just... I talk about stolen moments. I've stolen everything from that movie. <laughs> you know? And Prancing is then just Prancing is, is like an extension of the you know, doing the runway and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, it's it like so much fun now. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's, everything's become attitude and everyone's crossing over and doing all kinds it's of things. Lovely. Yeah. You know, in the nineties we were actually witnessing mankind like come out of a uh, infancy into maybe a toddler phase yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, we're really growing and people are discovering not only are they coming out sexually, but in every in every across the board, yeah, you know. Yeah. Everybody's dealing with uh, recovery or dealing with their parents or how they feel about the environment or themselves. And I think it's great. I, I think it's fabulous. Get it out and say it and get it over. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can move on, you know, yeah. unleash all this baggage, you know. Yeah. And that's I tell you, the day I started loving myself. 
That was the day I got my record contract. <laughs> okay? I get it, sis. Now, not only do you have a record contract, Every time I look around, they tell me you're gonna be doing all kind. You're gonna be doing a perfume. Uh huh. <laughs> well, this is it right here. I wanted to call it whore for she who is. Yeah. You know. You know. You know. If a man wear it and be willing to make some cash money, okay. <laughs> but we settled on Shantae. Shantae. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that right. pretty? Yeah. Right. And you're and you're really gonna do this. Yes, we're gonna do this, and you could actually. I like the box. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, box, you can right. wear it or drink it. It's a malt liquor. <laughs> Isn't it fabulous? <laughs> what it's else? Wonderful. What else have you done? Well, we're doing... Hair, I went to hair products. We're do, I want to do makeup. I really would love to do makeup yes. thing or something like yeah. that. I'm writing a book. Oh. But my life is a supermodel, which is <laughs> oh. wonderful. Oh, of course. Yeah. Will you tell her? Will you expose Cindy and <laughs> Naomi and... Everything. I'm going to tell everything. Yeah. You know, oh. um, Naomi is a bitch. I knew it. She is. <laughs> She's me, me. But um, I'm going to tell all the stories. And it's been like helpful hints from a drag queen. You know, it's like the Heloise book, right. but it's from a drag queen. Everything. I'm going to go across the board. Absolutely. You know. Now, I also heard that you're doing, they're doing a doll. And we found the first. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of cute, isn't exactly. she? Now, the nice thing is, if you want to check her out, She's anatomically correct. Oh, is she? It's a a guy doll that we fixed up. One of our, uh, Gary did it first. And we couldn't find shoes big enough. So we had (laughs) She's gorgeous. I think she needs a a trip to Dr. Stephen Hoffman, though, to really fix her up, you know? Well, a little more breath. (laughs) What did you have done? Anything? Well, I want everything done. You know, I want to do it. great. Thank you. I want to do a remake of Diana Ross's Muscles and call it Liposuction. <laughs> All over my body, from my head down to my libel suction. You'd <laughs> be fabulous. You'd be gorgeous. Well, now, have you just pushed yourself up when you have breast implants? This is, these are, um, I shouldn't tell, right? <laughs> well, no, you know, we should go shopping because I can tell you a few things about what to get to make yourself look good. And that's what I'm going to do in the yeah, book. Yeah. You know, I am a big old black man, okay? <laughs> and, I, and, you know, I'm working. And it's because drag queens, you know, you, you work at it harder, you know. And, you know, real women don't really dress this way. Only queens dress yeah, this yeah, way. But, that, but we all want to dress this way. You just take it another step. Absolutely. What do you do when you wake up in the morning and you go, oh, I'm a guy? <laughs> you know what, I'm what do you sleep in? Do you sleep in something very frilly and beautiful? I wear a... Uh, a pair of black panties and a bra to sleep, to sleep in. Okay. No, I'm joking. No, I sleep, you know, I sleep in, in everything. And, you know, it takes a while for me to do this, to get up into this thing. You know, I'm, I say I'm an adventure 65 million years in the making. Right. right I am right. Jurassic Park. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just we, Jurassic Park. Just, just we, for Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Now, we're going to come back. I want to find, I feel like I want to find you to shave your body. Yeah, you know, I shave my whole body. If you could Not find wax. a human hair on my body, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Yeah. You shave everywhere? Everywhere. 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 I'll show the audience during the break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, RuPaul decided to change her outfit. So to show that I can keep up, I changed to ha ha ha. So someone better tell that bitch was starting, okay? <laughs> Where is she? Drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> sure. And the and for this reason, on behalf of all queens everywhere, I want to <laughs> present you with the Drag Queen Lifetime Achievement Award to Joan <laughs> Rivers. <laughs> There are so many hairdressers I have to pass. <laughs> it's a wonderful art. And you, you just. <laughs> I'll treasure this. <laughs> In the 
manner of a true queen. I mean, you are a true queen. You toss the award. That's perfect. Now, you go. For all your fun, you do lots of good stuff, too. Well, you know, my whole movement is all about yeah. self-love. Yeah. You know, in my show, I say, you know, if you don't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Right. Can right. you answer me that? Yeah. Can true. I get an amen in here? Yeah. It's the truth. It's the truth. Now, what about private life? Who are you loving in private life? Well, I, I, I must confess, I am dating someone right now. Great. Great. I'm dating Barney. <laughs> you know Barney? <laughs> yes, the big purple Barney. The big purple. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I was going out with Big Bird for a while, but yeah, it didn't but, work uh, out. Well, it didn't work out. You know. It's a personality count. <laughs> All those feathers in your mouth. All those feathers. Yeah. Just, I couldn't find anything to wear with yellow. So it was just, you know. Do you have time for social life? I won't cry. Uh -huh. But do you have time? Uh, every once in a while, I work all the time, you know, yeah, and well, uh, know that hello, yeah. I'm in the airport forever, yeah. you know, but, um, you know, I get time to go out and I do aerobics a lot and I do that kind of stuff, but not anything. My main focus throughout my whole life has been my career. And hopefully at one point, you know, I can slow down and have little drag babies, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I want a child, Joan. Can you, seriously? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a great mother slash father. Right. <laughs> You're a complete family. Sure. Go to daddy, go to mommy. Sure. Right? I'm your mother. I'm your father. I'm your mother. <laughs> What about when now you did the March on Washington, yes. the gay march? Yes. It was fabulous. Yes. I haven't seen so many queers in one place since Liza played Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> it was a glorious feeling. It was it was a glorious feeling, and it was wonderful. I mean, seeing everybody together, and just the feeling of love all over the world. And, you know, Bill Clinton didn't even show up to the thing. I know. Now, what would you, if Bill Clinton were here, what would you say? What, didn't that upset you? I thought it was so wrong. Honey, so wrong. honey, I have a few choice words for Mr. Bill Clinton yeah, right yeah, about yeah. it. And I don't want to get into politics, because that's not what I'm about. But I feel like, you know, he... This is a new day, and uh, you know, gay people put him in the White House. I think he better show his butt. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> what about... What about gays in the military? I think, you know, we, you know, we can Were fight for this. Were you ever in the military? No, I haven't, but I'm from San Diego, so I've had uh, sailor boyfriends before. Oh, all right. You know. Wait, that's close. It's sort of a rite of passage in yeah. San Diego, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's all sailors. <laughs> yeah, it's all sailors down there. But, you know, listen, if you fight for this country, if you pay taxes, you should, you should have the same rights that everybody yeah. else has. And ain't, ain't that the truth in here? Absolutely. <laughs> now, you mentioned before... You mentioned before that you were, oh, my shoes are killing me. Now, how do you get shoes so big, by the way? Well, you know, these aren't feet. These are apple turnovers, honey. <laughs> <laughs> these are apple turnovers. And I get these from Fredericks of Hollywood. But, you know, there's some, some drag stores here in New York, like Lee's Mardi Gras and yeah. some other things. You can find them. I, I wear a, a, a 12 in men's shoes, which is a 14 in women's shoes. <laughs> and Fredericks, you can get Fredericks up to like a 13, you know. Were you embarrassed the first time you went in to actually buy that kind of stuff? No, I wasn't, because I've always been flamboyant. I've always felt like, this is me, I ain't hurt nobody, and right. people pick that up from me, right. so it's okay, and I think everybody can apply that to their life. I mean, whatever you have going on inside your head, you can really dictate it throughout your whole life, right. and right. it's the truth, right. and it doesn't mean everybody has to be a nine-foot-tall blonde drag queen, right. but everybody, there's a drag queen in everybody, and everybody has a... Uh, has something to bring to the party. And right. I think in your lifetime, it's up to you to figure out what that is. Okay? Free Willy! Yeah. Free Willy! <laughs> Free Willy! Or eat Willy! Eat Willy! Eat Willy! <laughs> Poor Willy. Poor Willy. What about if they made a movie of your life? Oh, not never mind a movie. If you, because they're going to be office to you now. I'm sure yeah, they're office already. Actually, I start on a movie tomorrow. Do you really? Yes. Yes. What's the movie? The movie is, uh, it's a Spike Lee movie. And it's called uh, uh, Crooklyn. Yes. And let me tell you something else. I just found out last week that I'm going to do a duet with Elton John in his next album. Can oh, you believe that's that? Great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Do you know him? Yeah, I've never met him before. Wonderful. He's wonderful. You will like him so much. I can't wait. We're going to do it in like a couple of weeks when I go down to Atlanta because he lives down there. And, uh, I just cannot wait. I mean, it's like things like that are happening, you know, and you know, when things are, are happening, diary? I am, you know, I keep a little camcorder with me and I record everything that's going on. Yeah. But the funny thing is that when my dream started coming true, I quickly said, 
quick, plant more seeds, plant more dreams because they started blooming. And um, I knew that it works by planting those seeds. These are seeds I planted years ago. So I encourage everybody out there right now, run, scurry, plant seeds, put things in the ground. Think, so they, think, think, and yes, move toward it. Absolutely, because it happens. Dreams come true. Hold on. To, and that's the, the kids write me all there and say, hold on to your dream. I mean, who would have thought I would have been a pop star. Of course, I always knew it, yeah. but nobody else did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you always knew it. I always knew it. I never falter. I mean, being a kid, I remember um, thinking, I am a star. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's great that I heard the call of the universe early and I followed through. Yeah. And I knew that this is what I'm, I'm supposed to do. Yeah. You know? And you have, boy. Now, we're going to be back and we're going to be back with RuPaul and a member of her family. Okay? Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> Recording sensation loophole, and joining us now is someone who knows the real person beneath the sequins, the chiffon, and the jerry curls. Please welcome RuPaul's sister, Renetta Freeman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, pretty family. Aw, thank you. Yeah, yeah. How many were in the family? Four total. Four. And what order? I am the oldest, and I share that title with a twin sister. Oh, so the two yes, twins right. then came? Rue. Rue. Yeah. And then the baby, as they yeah. say. Okay. Yeah. What was he like growing up? Let me oh. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. He was so sweet. Just the kindest person. Just loving. Uh, a little different, but. <laughs> how different? Oh, he was always caring and nurturing, but I remember one time, he must have been five years old, he went outside in a pink organdy dress. <laughs> and he just played out there with the kids and like nothing, it wasn't a big deal, you know, and, and they all just sort of like, Wow, you know, okay. but then they got over it and everything was fine. They went and played in the dirt, you know. <laughs> when you saw him, when was the first time you saw him in drag? I think that had to be um, 688 in Atlanta with a club there. And were you in shock? No, because I've seen Rue in so many different ways. It was so funny. He had a, a mohawk and he'd wear all kinds of unusual clothing and bell bottoms before they were fashionable again. He, he took my mother's old bedspreads and made bell bottoms out of them. It was just, <laughs> just anything, anything. I do remember one time he came to my house, he had blue eyebrows. I just couldn't get over those blue eyebrows. <laughs> Everything was normal, but he had blue eyebrows. Did you ever say, what's going to become of him? Here's my baby brother oh, with blue eyebrows. You know that you would worry, because yes. you're so normal. You, yeah. know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, I worried about him a lot. You yes. know, we thought, oh, well, isn't it time to get a, a regular job, a yes. normal job? Yes. Yes. And he did. He had one for a little while. He worked. What did you do? I worked at a movie theater for a little while, and I worked as a short order cook at a restaurant. <laughs> I, oh, and that must have been something in that oh, kitchen. It was really yeah. funny because the two I had two background singers with me working in the restaurant, and they were called the U-Hauls. It was RuPaul and the U-Hauls. Yeah. And they each, between them, <laughs> they weighed 300 pounds a, a piece. <laughs> you know, So it was me and these two big girls. It was really funny. Okay. And you, meanwhile, you were a short order cook? Yes. It's hilarious. <laughs> Will you do another song? I would love to. And you're going to sing? House of Love for my House album, Supermodel of the World. Let's check oh, the album God. as you walk over. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, RuPaul, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and by the way, I will be appearing in North Tonawanda, New York, in Warwick, Rhode Island, and in Latham, New York, on August 10th, 11th, and 12th with Don Rickles. So it's going to be a good show. Come and see us. We are back talking with supermodel of the entire world, <laughs> RuPaul, and her supermodel sister, Renetta Freeman. How nice <laughs> to have you both back. Thank you. There was a family reunion. Yes. Uh, last summer, there was a family reunion. And it was great because they've all followed me through the press, but yes. very few have seen my nightclub act. Right. And 
I turned them out, oh, you know, yeah. they were, the, and, but you know, what's great is that all this energy and all my family stuff really comes from them. So they all recognize we're a bunch of hams, yeah. you know? <laughs> so what do you call, how many came in family? Oh, 60 maybe? I'd say Probably close to a hundred. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. father's one of 14. So, so they family. all showed up. They yeah. all showed up. Yeah. That's yes. great. It was great. It was totally fabulous. Now I wish everybody had the opportunity to go home. You know, a lot of yeah. freaks or individuals exile themselves from the family. And I think it's time that we all come back home because usually the family has no idea what the lifestyle is like. No. And really, it's just like any life, I, you know. And I've always said, what, you know, peculiar child, I wonder what happened. And you come back, they see, huh? Right. They, they exactly. Yeah. Honey, I took the family jewels to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's, this is all stuff that they all have. Oh, you should see my father. I look just like him. He says, sands the wig and stuff. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but he's a cut up. He's just a cut up. You know, laugh, laugh, laugh. What about your mom? You were telling me that your mother just died. Uh-huh. Yeah. Recently. But she got a chance to know you were famous? Yes, she did. So important. Which is great. So important. Which is great. Because I've always wanted to be famous. Ever since I was a little drag queen growing up, I knew that <laughs> I knew that I was gonna be famous. And she got to see me on TV and stuff. And it's ironic because she passed away right after we finished doing the Back to My Roots video where we have Lawanda Page actually playing my mother in the video. So it was it was really it was a special thing. And I'm glad that she got to move out of the pain of, of cancer and move on to, you yeah, know, to, to the next else. phase. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. Now what about the two of you are you very close or, yeah. or do you see each other a lot what do you call a lot well I, i've been traveling a lot recently yeah. with the album so mm -hmm. i've been seeing them a lot more recently but we're through she's got a twin sister but we're actually the soul sisters too we're really yeah. the soul sisters yeah. she introduced me to magic i remember being a kid and she took me out to the canyon with a bag of cookies oh, and said gosh. we're gonna have a picnic and you know anyone else would have said this is just a bag of cookies and a blanket <laughs> and, you know but renetta introduced me to magic and it's how you look at life you know right, and right. she introduced me to that right well one last question I yes to say, you want to start a psychic uh Drag Network? Yeah. What is that? Yes. Well, if Dion and her friends can have one, I surely can have one. Sure. Latoya can have one. I can have one. It would be fierce. You know, you call up and ask Queen's advice on everything you need to know. Before you go out, should I wear pearls with rhinestones? You know, yeah. ask the Drag Queen Network, you know? Yeah, yeah, very Do you give each other makeup tips? Oh, I, I went to Barbizon and I used to give him tips. Now he gives me <laughs> tips. He's great. What was, what's the best tip you ever gave him? Was the best tip she ever gave you? The best tip she ever gave me, and I learned this from her earlier, is how to behave like you got some sense in front of people, you know, <laughs> and carrying yourself like, you know, a pleasant person. Right. You know, right. That's the best tip I've ever. And how to hold your head up in spite of anything. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's yes. right. You know. No matter what, no one should know. Head up and look ahead. Head. Yes. Yeah. What's behind you is behind you. Yeah. <laughs> the only view they get is your rear, so it doesn't matter anyhow. Oh, <laughs> I thank you so much, oh, and you are you just so the much. best. And you're going to sing for us? Uh, yeah, we got you. I'm going to use you. <laughs> <laughs> Will you do better a song work. for us? I love you. Yes, you better work. That's you better right. work. Uh, if we go to work, we'll do a commercial and you'll go and... I would and, love to. Okay. Fabulous. And we will be right back. And we'll hear again from Ruth Paul and her song, Supermom. Stay with us. Before we go, you are so wonderful. I enjoy playing with you so much. And your sister is so... Funny and charming. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Let me ask you, what are you dreaming? Do you dream as a man or do you dream as a woman? I, who are you in your dreams? <laughs> I dream as a man. I definitely yeah. dream as a man. Yeah. You know, but I have dreams as a woman too. Yeah. I have a Matthew Modine fantasy that I won't get into now. But uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Last thing. Mm. Okay. Last thing. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Where are you going to be appearing? I'm going to be in Atlanta on the sixth and. 4th or 5th of August okay. at the War Congress Center and at Velvet. <laughs> okay. Have a great time there. Thank you. We're not coming back. This is it. Thank you. Oh, we're coming back tomorrow. Serial killers. But I'm just going <laughs> <laughs> to let you sing us out if you would. I'd okay? love to. And what are you going to sing? Supermodel. <laughs> love that. All right. Thank you. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey. <laughs> 